Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a whale shark. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is drop anchor right when you see it. And what that's going to do is keep you in the area. And believe it or not, these things will keep coming back to you. So, I used to think you'd have to follow it, like you'd hit it and you'd try and follow it away. But the reality is you just want to hit it and then just wait. And the good thing for me is it's only 7 a.m. and I've I found when I was coming back to my uh, my base. So usually the earlier in the day, obviously the more amount of time of light you're going to have. And then the big the big thing for me is instead of just hitting it once, I try and wait till it gets under the boat and I try and hit it like two or three times and that way you only have to have it come back to you like three times instead of having it come back like ten times because it takes ten, ten crude spears to kill it and I wouldn't recommend using the refined ones because they just take a little bit more materials the crude ones just take one stick and so that's uh, easily um, easy to replace so we're just playing the waiting game. Okay, so he finally came back. It's 11.30. So the thing is, I hit him once, two, three. I'm not sure if I hit him that fourth time. Alright, so all I have is refined ones left. There we go. So we're going to try and grab some sticks. It'll probably be a little while before he comes back again. We could, yeah, we'll take out one of these logs and chop it down. So as you can see, sometimes it takes a long time for him to come back, which for us it was about, I guess I don't know what time I looked at it at first, it was seven something but it was about three and a half hours before he came back. And so I think we hit him four or five times now, which means we have to hit him four or five times more. So if we're lucky, which I, I wouldn't even say lucky, if we hit him two times and then three times, we should be able to get it. So uh, we're just gonna, again, wait and do the same thing, jump in the water. Sometimes you can jump in the water and stab him and then throw a spear. But yeah, you want to basically wait until you're right on top of him. And that way, oh, here he comes, here he comes. That was only about an hour. So, one, two, oh, well, there we go. But as you can see, he's starting to sink, so we'll, we'll grab him and swim up. Now, getting these things back can be a issue. There's a few ways you can do it. So we're going to pull up our anchor. Shoot. And we got back on. We're going to drop the anchor again. We got to swim back for him. So this might take a few, uh, few tries here. But I dropped him. Now I'm going to grab him and lift him up just, just to get him up out of the ground or off the water. Now I'll grab him, and I'm going to pull him towards me. And you guys might not be able to see this, but we are, uh, we're, whoa, we're pushing the boat at a pretty good, well, maybe not pretty good, but a decent clip, all right? So, and we might not even be going in the completely right direction, but we're getting closer to my base. And so if you do this completely right, or even if we get close enough, we can hop out and swim the rest of the way. I do have a uh, shark repellent, which is honestly what I would recommend the most, is shark repellent. You just take some shark repellent and then jump off and swim the rest of the way back, or even just swim them there. And then this is what you get at the end once you get them back to your base. You can have a collection of sharks. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. 
Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.